So how do you build current applications? What do you program in? You program in Lua. 90% of your day spent in Lua. Lua is a lightweight, embeddable scripting language. I call it a programming language. They call it a scripting language. It's embeddable because it was specifically for hardware integration. Small, compact, easy to use. Hey, see, what's up, buddy? Let's talk. That's what it was for. It's used uh, mainly in robotics, artificial intelligence, and hardware integration. If you're a World of Warcraft player, Lua was used a lot for the scripting language on top of the GUI for that for customization. Uh, Adobe Edge and Lightroom, if you're familiar with any photographer out there who uses Lightroom beyond Photoshop, the GUI with that is built in Lua. Um, Adobe, I guess, believes that it's faster to iterate with Lua than do all the native hardcore heavy lifting in C. Some of the areas that Lua has put in pawn, and because of that, Lua is a very device, diverse community. That's also why there's 50 billion different ways to do OOP, more than JavaScript, because of that. Uh, just to give you some other interesting specs, 20,000 lines of C is 240K compressed. The actual, I don't have it here, but the description of the language is all fits on a page. Pretty cool. The Corona SDK currently uses 5.1 version of Lua. 5.2, I believe, is the current. And uh, I'll get to the differences in a bit. They all use variants, okay? So because JavaScript is kind of a popular language, let's, uh, let's compare the two. So Lua is like JavaScript, except... Lua has block scope, very similar to C. So if you define a variable here with local, and then you define another variable with here with local instead of a function or not, it has block scope. It's a completely different variable with a completely different vision on that particular variable. JavaScript, var, 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 as long as you're not doing anything weird with closure, it's the same var. It doesn't, there's no different scope. In Lua, it matters. There is no prototype in Lua. JavaScript doesn't have classes, but it does have prototype. You'll allow you to do prototype chaining in some form of inheritance, right? is and as well as runtime decoration lua doesn't have that lua has meta tables which allows you to do something very similar to that it's somewhat analogous to php's fives inheritance um but it's very dynamic and it works at runtime and you can do all kinds of crazy things with that it also has multiple global scopes in 5.1 javascript has a single window right unless you're running from another domain but for the most part it's a single window Lua has multiple globals. Now it starts with an underscore G, capital G. In 5.1, you can have multiples, right? And in 5.2, they've kind of not really standardized modules. They said they have, but they haven't, because everyone still does it differently. Lua has no strong typing. Everything's a variant. It has no classes. I wish Squirrel Script outputted to Lua, but it doesn't. The good news is it has packages via Corona's require, which is good. So if you're from a Java background with you have com dot whatever, Yes, that still works. Now you can use slashes if you want to, you know, whatever. Like if you're an old school PHP guy, but that's that's what we're care about. You can at least organize large scale apps, right? That's it's kind of like a must have.